The objective within this lesson is to convert mixed unit measurements and solve multi-step word problems. 4 and 1 third yards equals how many feet? Which units are larger, yards or feet? Right, yards are larger. Let's draw a tape diagram to help us solve this problem. First we'll get, and just a little bit more is equal to a third. So the whole thing is four and a third. So we have one, two, three, four, and then one third. One yard is also equal to three feet. So we have three feet, four, six feet, nine feet, twelve feet, and then a little bit more. I know it's equal to 1 more, which is 13 feet. So let's show that. Four and a third yards equals four and a third times one yard equals four and one third times three feet. I'm going to rewrite four and a third as an improper fraction. Four and a third is equal to thirteen thirds. So we write that out. Thirteen thirds times three feet. The threes can cancel each other, so you get thirteen feet. So four and a third yards equals thirteen feet. Two and a quarter feet equals how many inches? Here's our tape diagram. Two and one-fourth. And remember that each of the feet then is equal to how many inches? Right, 12 inches. And then let's show our math. Two and a fourth feet equals two and a fourth times one foot equals 2 and 1 fourth times 12 inches. As an improper fraction, 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 9 fourths times 12 inches. 12 can cancel to become a 3, 4 becomes a 1, and so that's 9 times 3, which is 27 inches. 2 and a fourth, fourth foot is equal to 27 inches. You try. Three and one-half gallons equals how many quarts? Be sure to use the information that one gallon is equal to four quarts. Three and a half. One, two, three, and one-half. Three and one-half gallons equals three and one half times one gallon and that one gallon is equal to four quarts so that's three and a half times four quarts and then you make three and a half into an improper fraction it's equal to seven halves times four quarts four becomes a two two becomes one and that's seven times two which is fourteen fourteen quarts so three and a half gallons equals fourteen quarts One and two fifths hours equals how many minutes? There's one and there's two fifths. And one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So I know our answer is going to be bigger than 60 minutes. show our math. One and two-fifths is equal to seven-fifths times sixty. 
5 becomes a 1, 60 becomes 12, and that's 7 times 12, which is 84 minutes. So 80, 1 and 2 fifths hours equals 84 minutes. 11 feet equals blank yards. Which units are larger, feet or yards? Right, yards are, li are larger. What fraction of a yard is a foot? Right, one-third. So it looks like this. Each of those are feet. Each of those is one foot. Of a yard, one-third of a yard. 11 feet equals blank yards. 11 feet equals 11 times 1 foot equals 11 times 1 third of a yard equals 11 thirds of a yard, which is 3 and 2 thirds of a yard. So 11 feet equals 3 and 2 thirds yards. So the math looks very similar. Five and one half feet equals how many yards? Five and a half these feet equals five and a half times one foot equals five and a half times one third of a yard equals eleven halves times one third of a yard equals 11 over 2 times 3, which is 6. So that is equal to 1 and 5 6 of a yard. Three and a third quarts equals how many gallons? How many gallons are in, how many quarts are in a gallon? There's four of them. quarter of a gallon. So with our math, let's see, 3 and 1 third quart is equal to 3 and 1 third times 1 quart, and 1 quart is 1 fourth of a gallon. So that's 3 and 1 third times 1 fourth of a gallon. That's 10 thirds times 1 fourth. 10 becomes a 5, 4 becomes 2, so that equals 5, 6. 3 and a third quarts equals 5, 6 of a gallon. A container can hold 4 and 1 half pints of water. How many cups of water can two containers hold? 1 pint does equal 2 cups. Here's a tape diagram to help represent this problem. It's four and one half for one container. And one pint does equal two cups. The extra half of a container the half of two cups is one cup. So our answer is going to be two, four, six, eight, nine cups. And then two containers, though, can hold 18 cups. Let me show you that. Four and a half times one pint equals four and a half times two cups equals nine halves times two cups 
cancel, cancel, equals 9 cups. 2 containers is 2 times 9 cups, which equals 18 cups.